So congratulations, you have reached the end of this course. This is gonna be the last video, and this last video will be video number eight, and this is gonna be an advanced strategy to help you essentially make more money. So this is going from the short-term affiliate strategy to a long-term private deal strategy. So essentially you're moving from affiliate to a long-term deal. And this is extremely profitable if you generate enough sales for the vendor. So number one, you can contact them to get a higher percentage of commissions. Say for example that you've generated them 100 sales or more. You could go to them and say, hey, I've generated you hundreds of sales. Would you be interested in increasing my commission from 50% to 10%? A lot of times vendors, especially in for products where they don't have a huge overhead, they're willing to often go up to 75%. Some of them are gonna even go further than that as well. Some of them will stick to the bottom if it's software. Software is another thing. A lot of times they'll stick at 50% and it's harder for them to move up because they have a higher overhead with having to hire programmers and all of that. But keep that in mind, you can always work out a very private special deal where maybe they offer something to your list, something like an incentivized bonus. So for example, maybe the vendor can offer a special bonus such as a product that they normally sell for free for your customers because they know that you're already making sales for them naturally as a vendor they're going to want to make more sales for you because it makes more sales for them right so they know in a way that whatever you're doing traffic wise or conversion wise it's working it should be in their best interest to bend over backwards and work with you to help you make as many sales for them right so that's why this can move from a short-term strategy to a long-term strategy so I would do that. I would say, hey, do you have an incentivized bonus that you can offer my list? Or do you have a product that you're normally selling that you could offer my list for free? And we've done that and many vendors have opened up and said, hey, no problem, no big deal. Now we have had a few vendors that have said no and normally those are harder to deal with. But the ones that usually have your best interests in their mind, they normally should bend over backwards. That should be a normal thing. But that is, of course, only if you brought them 100 or more sales. Don't expect that if you haven't brought any sales or if you've only brought a couple sales. Only expect that if it's brought you know, a few hundred sales. And when, you, when you're at that point, it makes sense to move to a long-term kind of venture. Now, oftentimes we found that a good vendor is the difference between pennies and thousands of dollars earned. So in other words, if the vendor is willing to work with you, that is usually a win-win situation. So hindsight, 2020, looking back, a lot of times we found that the vendors that were easy to work with and that were willing to work with us, we made a lot more money with them. The ones that were not willing to work with us not willing to offer exclusive bonuses. The vendors that were lazy or just didn't want to do anything, a lot of times that those promos would just become stagnant and they wouldn't go anywhere. So that's a nice little tip if you're a vendor watching this. Make sure that you support your affiliates as much as you can. And especially affiliates that are doing well, reach out to them. Say, hey, what can I do to help you kind of thing. They don't budge. Usually what we do is we go to their competition. We show their competition, hey, we've made 100 sales for your competition. Do you have an affiliate program and would you be willing to work with us? Most of the time they would say yes. So that's just something to think about that there's always avenues that you could take. There's always going to be roadblocks and there's always going to be avenues and solutions that you can take. You just have to be willing to look for them. So that's the strategy that we would use, those two strategies at the very end on video seven, video number eight. And those will typically help you be the literal 10% of affiliates because the 99 or 90% of the affiliates aren't doing videos six, eight, seven, or eight. So I hope you enjoyed that video course. I know that was basic with some advanced strategies. 
And maybe at another time, we'll talk about more advanced affiliate marketing strategies. So with that said, go ahead and make sure that you take some action.